Okay, recording started. I'm starting. Okay. Okay, so today we are going to, some people coming again, okay, right. I am going to review GMM Fowler Limited, okay. The original, uh, it was a hot stock which I posted in YouTube on 4th August. That day the closing price was 1603 and today we are almost there, 1653, okay, little above that level. But of course it reached 2100 before this walk, okay. That means it gave an upside of about 30% from the recommended level. But you know what happened last week, the big fall, there is a gap down we are seeing here, pressing the panic button in everybody's mind. So that's why I thought I will review this. I am actually skipping the queue. You know, I have been reviewing all my past hot stock one by one chronologically, but suddenly I am jumping the queue to review this one because I know everybody is waiting to know what is the future of this stock because a big gap down which nobody expected. Okay. okay, let me start my analysis. I am doing the analysis in the daily chart. I am reviewing the analysis in the daily chart because daily chart we are able to see the full history. So no need to go to weekly. Okay. I have done it. Why suddenly? Okay. Okay. So I am reviewing the analysis, doing the analysis in the daily time frame. First, I will start with Elliott Impulse Wave. Okay. Now, in a loose way, you can see this. Okay, I am not doing a detailed analysis. Okay, somebody coming, coming, coming. I am not doing the detailed analysis. Oh, oh. I am not doing the detailed analysis the way I do by you know, analyzing the structure and all that. I'm going to do it in a very loose way, okay? I'm seeing this as a first wave, okay? This is a second wave. This is the third impulse. This I'm saying as the fourth wave. And we are now in the fifth wave. This is the first wave of the fifth wave, second correction of the fifth wave. Now we are in the third wave of the fifth wave. Means this is the first minor wave of the fifth wave. You know, the fifth wave will have five waves again. So this is the first minor wave of the fifth wave. Fifth wave. This is the second correction, second wave correction, which I believe ended. Okay. So second, and we are in the start of the third minor wave of the fifth major wave. I hope you understand my language by now. Okay. First wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave. We are in the fifth major wave and about to start the third minor wave of the fifth major wave. This is my simple first look analysis, okay. Can just bring up this lines, you know, one, two, three, four, five. This is how I am looking at it. But it keeps coming again and again. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to show you. Now the next I will bring up this trend based fib extension. Extension of this first wave. Okay, This is first wave, this is second wave, this is third wave. Just want to know how much the third wave went up. It went up up to 161.8. We know that. Golden ratio. Okay. Now you may wonder why it, it did go there. This I have explained many times to you. I will do it once more. You see, this is an excess. So this small portion is an excess. When the excess happens, it comes back and it goes up at retest. That is the correct level. Okay. See exactly how it happens. See, this is the level, the yellow line, 161.8. It grabs up, it goes, goes up 
may be for stop hunting as they say you know goes up a little distance to cheat the retailers and then it comes down but it when it goes up it doesn't go up to that it goes up to the real level which is this 160 ah yes ha huh? everything is okay something wrong at your end it's okay okay let me go ahead so as i said that this is the line this yellow line should i make it thicker or maybe the yellow line is it visible okay because i don't want i don't like thicker line that's why i put thin lines okay you can notice i'm zooming it that's why see you can notice that it went up a little bit maybe for stop hunting or whatever reason or maybe there is a channel i will show you later there is a channel above it goes up okay so there is a channel above we will see later that is why it goes up nothing happened without purpose okay we think it is an excess it is not an excess there is a level there it goes up there to touch it okay that's why so it comes back and then when it retests it retests the correct level which is 161 just wanted to bring this to your knowledge okay and you can notice so that means the third wave was 161.8% okay now you can see here again how perfectly when it the recent high it made okay that it went touch it touch it there exactly okay now it has been correcting and now we can see there is a small gap here so be aware that it could come back here there is a possibility but a remote possibility i would because i am going to show you a lot of confluences at this level itself so i do not think the stock is going to come down but be aware because there is a strong level you see this level how if you look back it is a very very see here it's a very very strong level and i am going to show you the what is that uh, pivot point see the central pivot the yellow line i hope you are able to see the thick yellow line that that is the central pivot okay so i can tell you now the stock will not go below this that i can tell you okay 1534 that is the level if at all if at all it comes it could come back because you know that is a very strong support it could come back just be aware of that okay but i don't think the probability for that to come to this level is only i would say 20% or even less okay but in case it goes there be aware of that it's not going it, if it touches this level buy more that's all i can say okay just wanted to show that you let me hide that okay now <coughs> i have shown you how far the third wave went and i am saying this as the you know you look when i put a cursor there you can see that is where the high point of the first wave which is lining up with this, this was strong snr and this is 61.8% i will show you later so this is the end of fourth wave correction here i am saying okay that's why i said this is 1 2 3 4 and the fifth wave is a kind of you know this is worst wave this is second wave third wave is ongoing that is my analysis now me let me hide this now i am going to show you lot of confluences at the current low okay to tell you that the stock has made its low okay you will be surprised at the how many confluences i am able to show the first one see this is the snr line if you see you know this is where the stock made an initial high you know came down it broke up and came back and retested okay so this is a kind of a you can even think of it as a channel you see the high point i have put here not there okay i am putting it here and you see the median this is a channel you see the median i am showing you see what's happening there see the stock you know went went a little bit below why it went below also i am going to show you okay there is a reason for that and then but then it is now taking support at this line see the, this is the 100% line this is 50% median okay this is a channel i'm showing you 
from this low to that high that is one channel and the stock is now at the median okay that is the first support i'm showing you okay let me hide that now the next one is a channel okay i have drawn a channel connecting the highs and the lows the recent highs and the lows but you can see there is a gap okay probably <coughs> as i said before we could come there or if i do a little bit of adjustment here from here to here okay as i said this is the level not that one no if i do it that way and adjust it here you can see the it is now touching the median okay so probably that way also we can look at it that's why i showed i just put it whichever way you it could be like this also or if it is like that the other way around maybe there is some more downside which i said is likely but a very remote possibility okay just wanted to show you now another channel i'm bringing up see this is the channel which i made connecting the swing point to this is end of second wave and this is the end of the third wave and i made the channel connecting the next to low higher low and you can see how beautifully the median see how perfect this median you see you can see okay and now this white line is a 12.5% line you see 0.125 okay all these are medians 50% also is a median i can bring up 50% okay so this is also a level and you can see left also you can see lot of touch points okay so this is another support i'm showing you see this is another support okay from a different channel connecting two different swings that's what i'm trying to so that is one side now another channel i am bringing up what is this this is the channel that i am connecting see this is the trend line the, this is the second the end of the second wave when i make a trend line and make a channel this channel is called somebody is coming so late leisurely okay so this channel uh, that you make by connecting the this i am seeing as the end of the fourth wave i said no so when i connect the 2 4 and 3 that is called the ending channel which i have discussed many times before also okay this is the ending channel normally in a fourth wave this will slip fourth wave will slip out of the ending channel that's what happened here see it slipped out of the channel went back for retest see this is the retesting the recent high that it made had we done all this we could have known that this is a strong resistance we could have exited out okay in anyway. your past is past so it it touched and then it is correcting now when it when it falls you know what we do we clone the channel okay i i have already cloned it see this is the cloned channel and you see how beautifully the stock has taken support at the median of the cloned channel okay and you are seeing green shoots coming this is the third confluence i'm showing you okay how many we have seen three at this level okay now i am going to show you anchored vwap which is drawn from the this low can you see how perfect it is the low touching the this and i will show you one more anchored we back from the high this time the white one that is coming from the high can you see both are merging here both this is the resistance a we back this is support a we back and both are coming to the same place and that is where the stock made the low this is the fifth confluence i'm showing you okay not over yet the sixth confluence what is this this violet line is 200 dma most powerful sorry i will show you zoom on show 
can you see today's candle where it is resting at the 200 dm can you see that the green shoot coming at 200 dm so i have reason to believe that it is not going to slip this low. okay this is the most important confluence i think okay okay now the same thing i will take you to as it is i will take you to the weekly weekly if you see this is 50 week moving average this brown line can you see that that is the additional confirmation in the weekly in the weekly also 50 is a very important uh, moving average and it is taking support there so this is the seventh confluence i'm sorry we'll go back to the daily okay now i will show you what else moving average exponential band okay this is the e89 band okay now i will talk, take you to weekly and see can you see this weekly this upper line is the e89 band top line and see the support coming there which is merging with 50 ma line that is the brown line this is the blue line i hope you you people are able to see that okay this is the again you see this the red the green candle coming up right from there this is the eighth support i'm showing you okay anything more you want and okay okay so i have shown you eight confluences at the daily now i will show you some more in the lower time frame this is the 75 minutes time frame okay here what i want to show you is this a b c d pattern which i shared also in the group i remember this is not it is alternate ab equal to c that is 161.8 i will bring up the fibonacci okay this is before that uh, this is 61.8 fibonacci retracement of this thing. this is one more okay don't get confused with uh, abcd just showing you the fibonacci retracement exactly 61.8 okay maybe i can hide that now now this a b c d how it is coming see 161.8 see 161.8 percent is 161.8 a b equal to c d that is the pattern see 161.8 percent a b equal to c d this is a pattern alternate a b equal to c d pattern i think people who attend the attended the harmonic webinars can understand what i am talking okay exactly the d point you see the the exactness or the, the perfectness can you see that cannot be any more perfect 161.8 right there not one one uh, inch or one not what should i say one mm below so perfect okay that is what giving me confidence that it is not going to go below this not only that i will show you Hey, where is it? Anyhow, that is not there. Okay, I can draw it, no problem. This is the, I will show you, beautiful trend line also. Can you see that? perfect trend line. So you have a trend line, you have the D point of ABCD pattern, you have 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. Three confluences at this level at the lower time frame. Okay. Plus I showed you eight in the weekly time frame. What more you want? Okay. So I am pretty confident the stock has made its low. 
if at all as i told you it could there is a possibility just be aware slip some more to touch this central pivot which is 1631534 if at all if at all it comes here grab with both hands now anything else i want to show okay i've shown everything okay now we need to talk about targets okay target if you ask me he let me bring up the pivot point again to the r1 which was there R1 or R2. R1 is a level. Can you see that? The previous high. From where it actually slipped. This could be a short term target. 1785 could come this week itself if you ask me. Okay. If at all somebody wants to keep this as a, I will say I will bring up this uh, moving average again. We are now the oh, I should go to daily. daily if i go to daily okay now this high could be a target see not even a little below that 17 this high whatever high from where the breakdown happened because this is a gap gap is always a resistance okay this is a resistance 1759 if you ask me straight away it could go and then we could have some selling okay but if at if you ask me this could be your traders target not even this it will go here you see this is the meeting point of 50 and 20 this is where the, the real fall came the gap started from here okay you can keep this as your target of 188 these targets i am giving for you know short term traders who want to exit okay 1880 whatever <coughs> this could be your target for traders if somebody wants to know what is the target for an investor i will take you to the okay same and i will bring up this channel okay this is a channel this is you know which i connected this so if this way if you look at it probably i am thinking of this as a first wave the other way of thinking elliot waves you know this wave counts thinking all can change from person to person so there is always a way to think uh, this as the first wave instead of the third wave earlier i said this is as the first wave this as the second wave you know but now you can even think of this as a first wave because this is the wave that broke the previous high see this is the high that that stock made and this wave broke that so in another sense uh, i would think of this as a first wave and this whole thing as a second wave okay this is first wave this is a second wave this is again the the first wave minor wave of the second wave this is a second minor wave whichever way you look at it we are looking at an impulse coming up now third wave impulse that is the point i am trying to make so the the target if you ask me long term yes it will go there but we don't want to be so long so what i do this median is the target but not only median it could go a little above i will draw it a line that i'm expecting it to go here somebody is coming so late why should he come at all Okay, I have drawn a parallel. This is called frequency shift, okay, which happens in the market always. A, a shift, a little bit away from the median. See, this is a line which I have drawn parallel to the median. So, if you ask me, the stock will go and hit this line in a few months. I don't know, maybe one year or so. Just draw a line. This is where it will go and hit. and when i keep the cursor what do you see left all time high okay the previous all time high 2281 is my target i am going to hold this stock till 
not beyond. I will exit and then I will see what happens. Maybe it will come down. If it again breaks and goes up, that can be another innings. But this innings of mine, I will end at 2 to 8. I hope you liked my analysis and you are convinced with my analysis. Okay. <coughs> so I will close the recording and come back for any other discussion.